Hello there and welcome back. We're going to take a quick look at the Linux Mint 17.3 Cinnamon Edition codename Rosa. Brand new running in a virtual box. Linux Mint has always run pretty good inside a virtual environment and it's perfectly safe and fine to test. So let's do it this way. Ubuntu Mate is the host. All right, well, I did move the panel, this panel here, from the bottom to the top. I changed the theme, and the way to do this is right-click Themes. And this will give you a nice selection of different themes by doing Add, Remove, Desktop, Themes. And they're all here, blue, brown, and so on and so forth. So let's get out of this. Let's go to the Linux Mint website and see what is new with this. New features. Let's go to what's new in Linux Mint 17.3 briefly. All right, looks like, looks like we have upgraded software sources, uh, upgraded update manager, updated driver manager, Cinnamon 2.8, the latest Cinnamon. We have an updated, we have updated better app, applets. Oh, look at this, updated Lana Del Rey. Del Rey, Lena, Lana, never heard of her. So <laughs> we go long. Anyway, you can get more information here. Power applets, applet has been improved, system tray and so on. So let's get out of that and go straight to the desktop. Now, so far this is looking and feeling pretty solid even in a virtual box and a nice surprise with Caden Live and I'll mention that one at the end. But moving along from right to left, open windows, of course time and date and the update manager, everything is up to date. I did an update and everything is fine. Uh, let's go to actually sound, launch player, media player integration, very nice. Sound settings, let's see what we have here. All right, self-explanatory output input. All right, let's go to sound effects. Uh, any farting sounds here? Let's find out. Probably not. Oh, oh, that's right. Got to move it up. There we go. Sounds like uh, from from the old Pac-Man game, right? Anyway. All right, enough of that. Self-explanatory, let's move along. Linux Mint 17.3 Cinnamon is highly configurable. Let's go to all settings and see what else we have here. All right, self-explanatory here, appearance, preferences. Uh, let's see if anything catches my eye. Let's go to general and uh, enable support for indicators, all right. Backspace, go to extension, see what else we have here. Uh, available extensions online. Desktop cube, wobbly windows, slider visual effects. Nah, I think I'll keep it the way it is. And besides, in a virtual box, the performance may not be as fast as a full install. And I do recommend you test this solid distribution in a full install. Moving along, we have the file manager. This is, uh, I want to say Nautilus. No, it's not. It's Nemo, of course. All right, the terminal. Of course, Firefox, show the desktop. The start button or the menu button. Uh, let's see, let's go to all applications. Quite a bit is installed by default, as you see here. GW Package Manager, very good. Of course, the GIMP, very solid. Image Editor, LibreOffice, of course, you've heard before. Uh, let's go to the System Monitor and see what we have. Okay, about 500 megabytes, not too bad for Cinnamon. I believe the Mate version will run a little bit lighter if I recall correctly. All right, so so far this is looking good, feeling good inside a virtual box. I did want to show you something with Kden Live. Some of you might recall last year I gave up with Linux Mint for some reason. The last version of Linux Mint and Kden Live was a very, very bad marriage and I just gave up, gave up on it because when I do editing in Linux versus editing in Windows, the only, the only one I trust or really like in Linux is Kden Live, probably the premier video editor for Linux. And last year you might recall missing icons, missing text. I did some terminal command updates, 
got the missing stuff fixed, but then it wouldn't render right. I just tested this, and even though it's very slow in a virtual environment, of course, unless you have a 50 core machine or something like that, this actually ran pretty good and it did not crash and everything worked. So the latest version, which you're gonna have to, if you try Linux Mint, you're gonna have to download the latest version of Kden Live from the Kden Live website and there are instructions there. Do not install the version in the Synaptic Package Manager from the, def from, from the default repository. That one did not work, but the updated one does work. In fact, ironically, it works better in Linux Mint DAW 3 in a virtual box than the one in Ubuntu Mate 1510. That version of Kden Live, and I realize it's, it is still in testing, doesn't work. It just keeps crashing. So, anyway, getting back to Linux Mint 17.3, highly recommended for beginners still. If you're looking for something new or something different, something user friendly, I would recommend you check out Cinnamon or probably Linux Mint Mate is my favorite out of the two and lighter on resources. But so far, Linux Mint 17.3, even in a virtual environment, is running pretty good. So let me know what you guys think of the latest superb so far Linux Mint dot three Rosa Cinnamon. I just had a thought. You know when I think of a mint, I think of an after dinner mint. So should shouldn't they be calling the these Linux Mint seventeen dot three uh, meatball sandwich and then an after dinner mint or seventeen dot three filet mignon with an after dinner never mind. Thank you for watching and listening as always. Please don't text and drive. Enjoy your technology. Be safe. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.